I greet you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Hallelujah. I want us to join our hands together and join faith together because these days if you think very well and see what is going on in Nigeria you will know that it is not ordinary if you think very well and see what is going on you will know that it's not ordinary though there might be some things that Nigerian that people of Nigeria Nigerian citizen might have done or they supposed to have done which they have not done but you know if we look at it spiritually you will know that there are some kabas spiritual you know spiritual kabas, spiritual kabas there are some people there are some spiritual kabas that are orchestrating most things that you know majority of things that are going on in nigeria you know can we say it's just coincidence when there was issue you know the 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 the, the the issue of killing, you know, you know sh sh shedding the, the, the blood of innocent at Plato State. You know, the, 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 it, how, okay, can we say it is coincident when such thing happened in Plato, you know, when, the, when a lot of, you know, there are a lot of life lost, both adult and children. So how is it possible when we are still fighting about Bukwaram, uh uh, uh, uh as men we are still battling about that when that when that one happened can we say it's coincidence when another one happened you know fire break out at lagos so please in another you know i want us to join faith together join us together for the bible says when we chase a thousand Two will put 10,000 to flight. I want us to pray for this country, Nigeria. You are living in abroad. You are saying no because you have left Nigeria. You know, you don't have anything to do with Nigeria. Don't talk like that. Even though if you do not have parents in Nigeria, you have your relative in Nigeria. If you have taken all your relative out of Nigeria, you are all people. People that live in Nigeria are your people. We are one in the body of Christ. I want us to put hands together and put face together and pray for this country. Some people will be saying they have been praying for Nigeria since when they were born, since when they were matured, but Nigeria has not changed. You know, the Bible says pray without season. Pray without season. There is nothing you can do. Even though I was, you know, when you know there are some physical effort that is supposed to, you know, you know, contribute to the, to the situation to be changed. But when people, you know, when, when some people that, that are supposed to join us to you, with you, when they are not ready or maybe the appropriate channel that you're supposed to pass through with that power, with that experience, with that advice, with that energy, it's not there. So there's nothing you can do than to be praying. The Bible says pray without ceasing. Now I want us to join together, join hands together, join faith together to pray for this country, Nigeria, and trouble zone countries. You know, the Bible says pray for the peace of Jerusalem. If you are praying for the peace of Nigeria, you are praying for, for the peace of other countries, you are not doing it even for that country alone, you are doing it for yourself. If, I, I, want, I want us to put faith together. Don't say you are not living in Nigeria now because you have... You have you have resided you you know you you have relocated to Western world or to any other country or any other nation. You have taken all your parents, your family, your relatives. Don't 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 say you you want to for, you want to forsake Nigeria. Don't say for say you want to leave the country because the country is your country. The people there they are the people there they are your people. We are one in the body of Christ. Let's pray. To, let's pray. Let us pray for that country. Let's join faith together. The Bible says, "Pray without ceasing." Don't say you have been you have been praying for that country. There's no any if there's no any changes. You do, you you don't underestimate your prayer. Don't underestimate your uh, yourself. Don't underestimate your grace. Don't underestimate your anointing. You know your your prayer. You, your prayer we we might 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 be later uh, it might be later change the country positively. Don't say you will not pay, pray for the country anymore. Don't say you will not do this. Don't say you will not do that. You are living in the country or you are not living in the country. Your parents are there. Your people are there or not. Let's just pray for the country. Let's pray for the country. I pray by the power and the authority of Jesus Christ. I stand on the rock of ages. I commit Nigeria 
and trouble zone nations into your hand, Father. For you said in your word that we should pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Nigeria is our nation. And other trouble zone, they are our people. For we are one in your body, Father. We pray. I join my faith with all these people that they are hearing my voice. With all people that will be listening to the sound of my voice. With all people that will be watching me. I join my faith with your faith. I pray for this country, Nigeria. Receive peace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The word of God says, mercy triumph over judgment. Daddy, we are pleading for your mercy upon this country, Nigeria. Daddy, please release your mercy. Father, release your mercy upon this country, Nigeria, and another trouble, trouble zone nation in the mighty name of Jesus. Release your peace. Release your mercy. Daddy, on Nigeria and other trouble zone nation in the mighty name of Jesus. Daddy, release your peace. Daddy, release your peace. Father, release your peace. Daddy, release your peace. Release your mercy. Release your peace. Release your mercy. Release your peace. Release your mercy. Daddy, let your peace reign. Daddy, let your peace reign. Let your mercy speak for country Nigeria and other trouble zone nation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. I declare and I decree. For the Bible says, I shall decree a thing and it shall be established. And the light shall shine on their ways. I declare, I decree. I declare and I decree. And I declare and I decree. By that power of that name. That by that power in that name, Jesus Christ. You Nigeria receive peace. Receive freedom. All trouble zone nation receive peace. Receive freedom from every idolatry. From every idolatry, receive freedom. From every bribery, receive freedom. From innocent bloodshed, receive freedom. From innocent bloodshed, receive freedom. From every attack, spiritual attack, receive freedom. From every evil plan, receive freedom. From every satanic plan, receive freedom. From every satanic plan, receive freedom. You, Nigeria, and all other trouble zone nations, receive freedom. From bribery, receive freedom. From every idolatry, receive freedom. From every hardship, receive freedom. From every tribulation, receive freedom. From every, every satanic attack, receive freedom. From tribulation, receive freedom. Killing, stealing, destruction, cancelled in the mighty name of Jesus. I cancel every killing, stealing, destruction in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every killing, stealing, destruction, I cancel them in the mighty name of Jesus. Every innocent bloodshed, I cancel that in the mighty name of Jesus. In this country, Nigeria, and all, all trouble zone nation, I cancel every killing, stealing, destruction in the mighty name of Jesus. I cancel every stealing, killing, destruction in the mighty name of Jesus. Every idolatry, I cancel you. Every idolatry, I cancel you. Every bribery, I cancel you. Anything that is causing the problem in Nigeria, in, the, in, in any other trouble zone nation, I cancel you in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I commit the, the kabas. I, any, any, every people, anyone, or the gathering of people, all the gathering of people that are controlling the evil in Nigeria, that are releasing the evil to Nigeria. Daddy, please, I'm begging. Release. Daddy, I'm begging. Daddy, arrest their hearts. And if needed, if it, if it, if it's really needed for them to be taken away, Daddy, take them away in the mighty name of Jesus. Daddy, take them away in the mighty name of Jesus. If they, if they are needed to be taken away, no one, nothing, you said in your word, is there anything too difficult for me to do? No. Daddy, I commit everyone, every evil cabas, every, every, every garden of evil, every people, everyone that gather together that are orchestrating the evil against Nigeria, that are planning evil against that country and war zone nations, that are planning and distributing evil 
maybe spiritually, physically, to that country, nation, Nigeria, and other trouble zone nation. Daddy, I pray. Daddy, I pray. I beg you by the anointing. Daddy, I pray. I beg you by that anointing that you place on my head. Daddy, I pray. I beg you by the anointing you place on my head. Daddy, if they daddy arrest their heart and if they are proven stubborn, or if you if they you know better than us, if to take them away will give peace to that country, Nigeria and trouble zone nation. Daddy, please take them away in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, for the answer prayer. Thank you, King of Kings, for in Jesus' mighty name. We are prayed. Amen. Amen and amen. Thank you for watching us. Thank you for joining us. Please let's let's let, let's let's join us together. For the Bible says when we chase a thousand two, we put ten thousand to flight. Don't let us just be looking at what is going on in the nation. Though there is end the though or everything that is happening now is giving us the evidence of what the Bible are. Or what the or what the Bible has said, or what the Bible has prophesied when there is end time, when end time is near. So this is another this is another evidence for you. This is another proof for you that you just have to move closer to God. You just have to to to, to be watching your way so that so that when the when the trumpet sound, you will not be left alone. So this this these are the evidence because all these things is not really is not happening in Nigeria alone. You know the the the, the tragedies the tra tragedies are happening all over the, most places in the world, and these are the these are what the Bible says when when it, when the end time when, you know when the end time is near. So these are another evidence for you to know that end time is near. So I'm using this opportunity for you to 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 watch your way to 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 move closer to God, so that when the trumpet sound will be raptured with him. Or when we of if our father tarry and we grow old, so we'll be able to um, enjoy with him in heaven. So please, but you know, in every circumstances, the Bible says, in every circumstances, pray without ceasing. So let's be praying. Prayer is our sword. Prayer is our strength. Let's be praying for Nigeria and all trouble zone nation. So that every evil plans, every every evil orchestration, every evil every evil uh, cabas will be destroyed. So please let's keep praying. Don't say you are not living in Nigeria or you have you have left Nigeria or you have taken every every all your people out of Nigeria. As far as I'm as far as I'm concerned, as I'm talking to you, I'm not talking from Nigeria. I'm talking from Canada, but my nation is my nation. My people are my people. Even though if my if even though if if, if I say I've taken my family, I've done this, I've done this out of the country, though everyone, are my, everyone that lives in Nigeria, my people, everyone that lives in Nigeria, my relatives, eh, because we are one in the body of Christ. Even not in, only in Nigeria, everyone in the whole world, we are one in the body of Christ. So please, let's keep praying for Nigeria. For the Bible says, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. When you are praying for Nigeria, you are praying for all, all trouble zone nations, you are not praying for them alone, you are praying for yourself as well. Thank you for watching us. May, the, may the God Almighty bless you. May 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 God Almighty bless you. I, I commit all your ways unto God's hand. You will not walk the day you are not supposed to walk. You will not be at home the day you are not supposed to be at home. You will not be on the road the day you are not supposed to be on the road. Every way, every step of every, all your steps, will be monitoring by the power and the authority of Jesus Christ. All your steps will be controlled by the Holy Spirit. You will be sanctified. Everywhere you will be putting your leg on will be sanctified. Everything you will be touching will be sanctified. Anything that will be touching you will be sanctified. You and your household, I commit you to, go, to, the, to God's hand. You are covered with the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus on you. I plead the blood of Jesus on your family. I plead the blood of Jesus on Nigeria and all trouble zone nation in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive your blessing. Receive your breakthrough. Receive your healing. You will not seek. You will not die prematurely. Hardship, tribulation, failure will never be your portion. Defeat, failure will never be your portion. 
wasted effort, wasted time will never be your portion. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. I sanctify you with the blood of Jesus. Your glory will not shallow. Your glory will not fall. Your glory will not fall. All factors will work for you. All factors will work for you. All factors will work for you. All factors will favor you. All factors will favor you. You will not regret in your life. You will not regret in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for in Jesus' mighty name. We are praying. Amen. Amen. And amen. Thank you for watching us. My name is G.A. David from Canada. Till we shall be meeting on Wednesday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Stay in faith and remain blessed. Shalom.